A second child in western Washington suffered critical complications from COVID-19. That child, who doctors say is under the age of 10, recovered from the inflammatory disorder at Seattle Children's. Carol 7's Allison Grandy spoke to the chief of critical care there and has his warning for parents. It does appear to be something that is now present in Washington State. Dr. John McGuire is the chief of pediatric critical care medicine at Seattle Children's. He says they've treated two children with critical complications of COVID-19. One of them is 13-year-old Anthony Lawson. We uh, uh, identified a couple of cases that met case definition here in Seattle. And we're also investigating some other children that don't have the full spectrum of, of uh, symptoms. Anthony Lawson's mother told us the eighth grader went from healthy to critical after a trip to urgent care and the ER at Providence and Everett. And I do get a phone call from my husband that said he's in full cardiac heart and kidney failure. And I said, oh my God, what's going on? And he said, well, they're trying to stabilize him to get him to Children's Hospital. Now the state health department is issuing a warning announcing a second case, a child under 10 at Children's who suffered the same complications, pediatric multi-system inflammatory syndrome, which presents similar to Kawasaki disease. It affects multiple parts of the body, multiple systems. So cardiovascular, respiratory, neurological, gastrointestinal, uh, as opposed to affecting just one part. In Lawson's case, it caused inflammation in his heart and kidneys. Doctors told his family he might not survive. Now doctors say if your child has unusual symptoms, call your pediatrician. If children are having uh, persistent fever, rash, uh, headache, uh, gastrointestinal symptoms, abdominal pain or diarrhea, shortness of breath, excessive fatigue. The COVID-19 complications were first found in children in the UK. The most children impacted so far are in New York. Timing is important. If the symptoms are caught, they can get to the hospital. We feel uh, comfortable that we can evaluate and really help uh, those children with various treatments with the, the expertise that we do have. Seattle Children's says they have some other patients who could have the same thing. But here's the difference. Those children don't test positive for COVID-19 and they don't have the antibodies. They're trying to figure all of this out. Doctors are working on this together around the world. Allison Grandy, Cairo 7 News.